Hi, friends. I just wanted to give you a quick update about a calculus textbook that I've been working on. I'm not yet finished the first uh, draft of the complete book, but I'm getting there. And I hope that the book itself will be available to purchase by somewhere around early or late spring in 2025. The book is on calculus. This will be similar in formatting style and approach as my linear algebra books and my statistics textbook. I will start right from the beginning with functions, explaining what functions are, different kinds of functions, and then we get to uh, limits. This is basically where a first semester university level course on calculus would begin with limits and differentiation. So you can see I have lots of chapters, lots of material about differentiation, uh, also applications, definitely lots of Python code. There's going to be tons of Python code that I will make available. One thing that um, sets my book apart from typical, very like abstract treatments of calculus is I'm going to have a lot of discussions about how to implement calculus on computers in Python, including a lot of um, details about numerical approximations and numerical accuracy and parameters of, uh, of functions. When you're doing data science, statistics, machine learning, uh, computational simulations, computer graphics, computer vision, video games, all sorts of applications of advanced mathematics, including calculus, are all done on computers. And then the second part of the book is about integration. So this would be like a second semester uh, university level course on calculus. And here is a random chapter 17, integration applications in geometry. I'm just going to scroll through this chapter a little bit. I just want to give you a visual sense of what the uh, book contents will look like. So again, lots and lots of graphs. The code to create exactly this figure is going to be available to you. So you can create this figure. Of course, there's equations. It's a math book after all. Here you can see is a section where I talk about approximating integrals, in particular in cases where an exact analytic solution cannot be obtained. So I have discussions, I show some code. Here is the exercises for this particular chapter. And if you've gone through any of my other textbooks, you'll know that I like to have exercises that require creativity and critical thinking and time and work. Each individual exercise might take you maybe 10 minutes, maybe an hour to solve, and you're really learning something new. You really need to think about how to solve it in SymPy, in NumPy, in SciPy, in Matplotlib. And uh, yeah, I try to make them a little bit enjoyable as well. This is an example where you're going to create these lips and figure out um, which of these two areas is larger than the other based on highly accurate numerical approximations of definite integrals. Here I have one of the code files open. This is for chapter 10. Um, and this is just to show you that all of the concepts that I introduce in the book, all of the figures you can recreate using the online code. All of these solutions to all of the exercises will be here for you to view. So, uh, you know, these are real opportunities for you to improve your um, Python math coding skills. So here we see, you know, creating Python functions that will implement multivariable math functions. And then, yeah, you have to figure out how to work with these functions, how to visualize these functions, how to uh, differentiate and integrate these functions, and so on. Well, friends, that's it for this preview. I am working like a busy little bumblebee on this book, and uh, I hope to finish it soon. Maybe by the time you are watching this video, it will already be available.